My name's Johnny. Hey, how's it going, Joker family? It's your boy, Haha ha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at it again. Another matter video for you guys. And today, guys, Joker fan, man, I think low key Madden, EA, whoever, has officially broke their game because of these drops that just came out. Now, It's very, it's very hard to like really know where to start. We'll start with some positive things, right? So Mahomes, his card is very good. Like the card art, out of positions out. But like, there's a lot of things wrong with this year's Madden. That's just apparent. And we're, we're going to get into some of the things that I feel that's really broken about this game well at least right now or things are kind of messed up in a sense but it is what it is it's not going to be fixed hopefully they do a better job next year it's just that simple at this point there's no really two ways around it but we're going to start off with these programs right we're going to start off with the zero chill stuff or the Ghost of Future? No, it's Ghost of Present. That's what we're going to start off with. Start off with the Ghost of Present. 92 to 93s. No, it's... Is it not the Ghost of Present? Yeah, it is. Okay. So we're going to start off with this. We got Leighton Van Der Esch. Okay. Out in the game for one of the pieces for Ghost of Present. Okay. 86 speed, 91 excel, 78 strength, 93 tackle, 91 play rec, 85 block shed, 65 power move, 54 finesse. And as far as his zone coverage, let's see what his zone is. Jumping is 92, which is pretty good. Impact 83, pursuit 95, man is 72, zone is 79. So, not the best card. Cowboys theme teams, I'm sure people are happy about it. Uh, but as far as just picking him up without a theme team, wouldn't do it. Todd Gurley. Uh, like his card art, I had Todd Gurley when I very first started Madden. Had his superstar card and everything like that. Um, obviously got rid of him. So n now he has a Ghost of Madden present out. 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 93 agility, 92 carry. 64 catch, 91 elusiveness, 81 truck, 93 break tackle. And obviously, he's a good rounded card. Powered up, he gets 91 speed, 90 acceler 91 acceleration. He gets every obviously everything plus one. Powered up. So, is he a good card? Um, obviously, he's not the best. He's got Barry carrying than Barry, which is good. Carrying is important in this game. But again, Barry's so fast and elusiveness, you got it's one of those things you gotta catch him first before you can hit him. But um if you don't have yourself an Eric Dickerson or Barry Sanders, yeah, I would say Todd Gurley is a pretty good pickup in this game right now. Uh yeah, he's a good rounded card. Catching's not the best, so Depending on how you use them, there's that. But so you got good speed, good acceleration, good agility. He's a very good elusive back. 81 truck, so he's not going to get a lot of truck animations. But you might, if you truck, you might get a lot of fall forward animations. So with 93 break tackle, so that's also good. So And he's got spin and juke, which I'm he should have, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Let's find out. 87 jump, which is good. 91 ball carrier vision is 94, stiff arm is 88, spin is 83, juke is 92. So he won't get evasive, he'll only get jukebox. So that might be the only other thing, 94 stamina. But I mean, he's, he's a good solid card in my opinion. So, you know, if you don't have yourself a, a NFL 100 running back, I would say go ahead and pick him up. He's a good, he's a pretty good back. And now we have what everybody's been waiting for. Everybody's been lusting for some Patrick Mahomes 
Jesus Christ. So he has 81 speed, so powered up, he does get skate parties. 94 throw power, 91 short, 89 mid, 90 deep, 92 throw under pressure, 94 throw on the run, 83 play action. So, I'm going to stop it right here for a quick second. Here is my two cents on this, okay? And please take it with a grain of salt. This is just my opinion. People are going to do what they want. It's y'all teams. Do whatever you want. But Joker fam, hear me out. Patrick Mahomes is a good card. Okay? It's just the way it is. He's a very good card. All right? His throw stats are very, very good. But if you're going to spend coins on this quarterback, I would suggest you wait until the NFL 100 quarterbacks drop. Because two things are going to either happen when this happens, okay? Two things. Number one, Mahomes is going to drop down in price because there are quarterbacks with the same overall, but more than likely will be better than him anyways. That's number one. And number two, you might end up winning one of those NFL 100 quarterbacks. Now, where's the bad in this? The wait time. It will be next week, presumably. Next week. Because NFL receivers dropped today, so next week the quarterback should be coming out. Which will be the final week. And then if you've done all the things for the solos, for the NFL 100 solos, you will get a free 94 overall NFL 100 player. But that that is my only two cents about it. Now, am I personally going to pick up Mahomes? I have his core elite, but no, I'm not. Number one, I don't have the coins for it. And even if I did, I still wouldn't. The only reason I wouldn't is because Steve Young does just fine on my team. Okay? I've gotten into more of a run-heavy meta. But not just that, but when I do decide to pass the ball, Steve Young gets the ball there. That's all I need him to do. Okay? He don't need to do nothing crazy. His throw and run is just fine. All right? Does he overthrow some passes here and there? Yeah. But that's mainly because of inaccurate passes. That's not because of his throwing stats. He gets some, some of these passes thrown far whatever because of inaccurate passes because of pressure whatever the case is which is one of the reasons why i have fearless on him so when i do have fearless throwing is just fine right but that's my two cents on the mahomes very good card if you do decide to pick him up it's not a bad pickup all right um some might argue best quarterback in the game you got escape artists you got good throw stats best card Best quarterback, sorry, best quarterback in the game, okay? But, again, bad pickup? No, very good pickup. But in my honest opinion, just wait it out, okay? That's just my opinion on that. But that's Patrick Mahomes, and if you do all of these, they go into a set, which would be Todd Gurley, Leighton Van Esch, and Patrick Mahomes. They go into the set to make the J.J. Watt. And yes, if you do the set, you get J.J. Watt and those three players back, nah. So, there you go. But J.J. Watt's stats, 77 speed, 82 acceleration, 96 strength, 95 tackle, 95 player rec, 89 block shed, which is interesting, 92 power move, and 91 finesse. So, uh, for me, this is not going to be a pickup for me personally because i already have reggie white and you know jj white might have more strength than reggie white which my honest opinion is kind of bs but um because everybody knows what reggie white was and how strong he was and how he tossed people around i i don't know about anybody else i haven't really because i guess because of all the lamar talk and the Patriots sucking and this, that, and the other. I I haven't heard from J.J. Watt personally. So, yeah. You know, take that with a grain of salt. But anyways, um, tackling, it's roughly 
whatever. It's going to go to J.J. Watt. The player is going to go to him, too. But block shed power move is all going to go to him. And it's only he only got one finesse over Reggie White. So, yeah. My personal opinion, is he a good pickup? I, I don't... Th- if you're going to do this, I would say if you had the coins, just buy him outright, in my honest opinion, because I, I don't think he's worth doing the set for. As you can see, he's very cheap for being a a master. So, I mean, yeah, three, 391k, 300, 388k, and I'm not even filtering it by his name, so yeah. That's that's just is what it is. So, if you're gonna get this card, I would just say buy him out, right? I wouldn't do the set for him. But again, that's just my opinion. Personally, I wouldn't even buy him at all, not on my team. So, I guess you know it's just each his own. You guys, do what do what you guys feel is good for your team, man. But anyways, here we go, man. With this broken stuff, we're gonna get to that in a second. But Oh, man. So, here's the thing, guys. Check this out. Where should we start at? Let's go Let's go 88 to 89. So, let's see. I want to see how how far the rabbit hole goes, in, in a sense. Okay. Joe Webb. Yeah, he don't look like a threat. Yeah, he's not a threat. We're going to start in the 90s and 91s. All right. Now, I'm going to start this off by saying this, right? So, I just started YouTube not too long ago, maybe about two, three months ago. I've been playing Madden for a long time, all right, before they introduced Mutt into Madden. Madden, after when they've introduced Mutt into Madden, it was good, everything was chill, and then the out of positions came out, which weren't really that much of a problem. As of, we're going to keep it current, as of last year, okay, out of position players were good for X amount of time, and then it just died off, which it should have. The only thing that really stayed with the out of position players were the punters that were quarterbacks, because people love cheesing that crap. Now... I don't have an issue with it. Just play punt man safe. Cool. But with how things are with this game now, with the playbooks being how they are, and certain players being the way they are, it can get kind of crazy. Okay. So Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill. This man's essentially good at everything. Plays everything. So it's it only makes sense for him to get it out of position which I'm fine with. 90 speed, 75 strength, 89 catch, 88 catch in traffic, 82 spec, 83 short, 75 mid, 72 run blocking. Now, obviously not the best run blocker. I wouldn't pick him up, but out of the Taysom Hill package that's in New Orleans playbook, this could be a little glitchy. It, it very well could be. I don't know how it would work, really, but it could be glitchy. You know, having a Taysom Hill at tight end, there might be some issues, man. There might be. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, Patrick Ricardo, uh, he's not really much of an issue, but we'll, we'll look at his stats anyways at DT. 71 speed, 80 acceleration, 94 strength, 84 tackle, 88 play rec, 93 block shed. 86 power move, 68 finesse. Um, Nothing really special. I mean, it's good. You got a fullback at D-tackle, I guess. But he's nothing really special outside of his block shed and strength. So it's whatever. He's not what I'm worried about. So this right here is... This is the epitome. This is... This is the stuff that comes out, right? So I don't, I don't, here's what I have a problem with, right? I don't know who sits in this room, right? At the EA headquarters, right? 
I don't know who sits in this room and pitches the idea like, hey, guys, we should do this. We should make it out of position Mike Evans, right? And regardless of what his ability is to cover, right, we should give him 96 man and 92 zone. Really? That that's the movie, eh? That that to y'all made sense. 90 speed corner. This man will barely break 90 speed of his receiver card, but he's going to break 90 speed on his corner. Yo, check this out, right? Check this out. I'm, I'm going to show y'all something real quick. And this and this is the type of stuff. This right this stuff right here pisses me off about EA, right? This is what really gets underneath my skin. And uh, this is why I it, certain stuff just does not like it's in the thing is is that it's been happening since the beginning of the year. So it's like nothing nothing that I'm surprised with really, but stuff like this it gets really old really quick. So right now, currently, you have a 90 Mike Evans in the game right now, right? 90 Mike Evans. Why does 90 Mike Evans have 85 speed, right? But his 93 overall cornerback card got 90 speed. That's a big jump. From 85 to 90. I'm going to be honest with you. This Mike Evans, if he gets another upgrade, which would be a 95 overall, I promise you it'll probably be 89 speed at best. Mike Evans is not a burner. He's a red zone threat receiver. Okay? I, I It's just that simple. He's not, and as y'all can see, I'm, this, this is not, I'm not making these stats up. It's just what it is. He's not a route runner. He's not, okay? He's a big receiver, six foot five, who has good jumping, good catching traffic. I feel like they might have cheated him on a catch, spec catch. That seems right. But he's a big body receiver. He muscles people. Like, there's not, unless he has beaten a zone, Mike Evans is not flat out just straight burning corners, ever. That's not what he is, Okay? He wasn't a Randy Moss. He wasn't a Calvin. He didn't have speed like that. He didn't have good route running like that. But he was a big body receiver who was strong as hell and would just jump up and beat you to the ball every single time. But I digress to the corner. Why is it that a receiver who does not have good route running ability able to have man coverage to a 96 why that makes no sense ea 96 man like do you understand how annoying that would be Let, let's just let's put this like in the context right let's put this in the context i've seen gameplay okay on the new sherman all right i have and it's it's crazy he's real locked down Okay, so we're going to look at Richard Sherman for a quick second. All right, just to put this in the context, because Richard Sherman is one of the best. I don't care what nobody says. Richard Sherman is one of the best man cover uh, corners right now in this game. All right, hands down. Richard Sherman's man coverage is 92. Okay, 92 man. Now, understand that Richard Sherman gets universal coverage. All right. He can get that, okay? And the reason he can get that is because he has good man and good zone. So what you're telling me, EA, is that even though he cannot, I want that to be perfectly clear, and I do understand that he cannot. Evans, Mike Evans, cannot get, like, universal man coverage, and he, he can't get abilities, okay? I understand that. But the fact that you can put something in the game right that has the ability to get those things to me that that's oh that's a little overkill personally that that's really kind of ridiculous 
So, like I guess these out of positions really do. They're finding ways to really break the game, and it's very, very annoying. I understand. I have Deion Sanders, powered up, same overall as Mike Evans. So, you're telling me my Deion Sanders, at 93 overall, is not a better man cover or better zone cover than Mike Evans out of out of position? You're telling me Mike Evans is three speed less. EA, three, 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 three speed less, okay, than my Deion Sanders, right? And I get it. Deion has another card out. That's not the point. 96 man coverage is my point. 96 jump is my point, right? That 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 was a good idea. And like and here's the thing. I'm I'm and, and like I'm gonna pick him up. At some point in time I'm gonna pick him up. And here's the reason why. Because if I don't pick him up, I'ma have to play against it. And if I have to play against that, I'm gonna be pissed off. Because it's stupid. There's a six foot five and, I, and that's the other issue. It's a six foot five corner. Okay, running around the field with 96 man and 92 zone. To me, it, it's it's too much. It it really is. Here's the other problem: Calvin Johnson out of position. Now, knew what was gonna happen. Okay, out of position, Calvin Johnson. Everybody knew it was coming some point in time it was about to happen here is my issue with this right so everybody understands now at least at this point that ea has the rights to sean taylor's name that's apparent why would you start the year off which is this was the talk for a while when it happened. Why would you start the year off with an out of position player at free safety when he only played free safety? I don't know, maybe a handful of times in his entire career, maybe five. I don't know the exact number, but this wasn't a constant thing. He played free safety for like Hail Marys and stuff. Which a lot of people do. Patriots did it during the Dolphins game. What was it last year? And they lost the at the the Miami Miracle shit. They put Gronk back there at safety. Lost the game, which I was happy about. But anyways, Calvin at free safety, which was a mistake from the jump as a as a player, a Madden ten player. You have the rights to his name already. He should have been in the game from rep at free safety, not Calvin. Now we come back months later, and now we have a Calvin Johnson power up. He has a new card out. 91 speed. Keep in mind, this is plus one on everything, so he'll be 92 speed. But anyways, 90 acceleration, 86 tackle, 92 play rec, 89 pursuit. 80 man coverage, 94 zone, 87 hit power. So, this Calvin man, okay. At this point in time, I would tell y'all that this Calvin Johnson more than likely is going to be a end of the year card. Because, keep this in mind, he's, he's legend tiered. So I, here's what I think is going to happen. Y'all not going to like this. I honestly believe that at some point throughout Madden, whenever it starts happening, Ultimate Legends, when they drop, guess who's getting one? Out of position, Calvin Johnson. And a lot of people ain't going to like that. But it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Why? Because... He is going to do it. He, here's the thing. If if you're playing a game 
from a company who's supposed to understand and know football, which, quite frankly, I, I've watched some things happen in game that I'm like, how? Like who? Like I've seen some things, man, that will leave you like, how did Madden? How did EA release this? Like, did they even play their product before they put it out? Like, it's crazy. I've seen from my last gameplay video, and I don't know if you guys seen it, but please, please, Lord, go check it out. Second game of our from my gameplay. Fast forward to it. I saw Lawrence Taylor on a blitz. Because I was complaining about it that I was going to, while I was editing it, I was going to go back and look and see while I was editing the video what was going on and why it wasn't getting picked up. I saw Lawrence Taylor start from one side of the ball, loop around, through the middle, hat blockers. Okay, I don't want, I don't want there to be any confusion. I had, I believe, I had a center and a guard blocking nobody and i believe nobody and kittle wasn't blocking anybody either this man lawrence taylor looped from one side from the left looped straight down the middle past my center travis fredericks and past my very new right guard larry allen who are supposed to be tremendous blockers and nobody picked him up why ea tell me why but not only that which again i'm not sure i'll have to go back and look at it myself but let's just say kittle was blocking somebody this man ran past two old linemen and got to me straight between them okay i don't want there no there wasn't like they were double teaming somebody or still block they were looking for somebody to block this nigga looped around went straight between both of them Really? So that's that's okay, right? And it's also okay to put out six for five corners with 96 man coverage and 92 zones. And then you got Calvin Johnson here getting power-ups instead of Sean Taylor. Why? Like, that, that really bothers me. So now we got to deal with a six foot five free safety who's a good user, who will be a good user, has good zone coverage. You'll have to deal with six or five corner, good man, good zone. It, It's crazy. And to me, that stuff like this breaks the game. It makes the game not fun because it gets to that point where it's just not, it stops being competitive and it starts being stupid because this is ridiculous. I knew out of position was going to be dumb this year because it's been dumb every year. And the bad part about it is, and I think the reason why I'm complaining about it so much now is the simple fact that these players aren't going anywhere. Keep that in mind. These players are going to be sticking around for quite some time. And the reason is, is because you a six foot five corner that command coverage. That's going to be around for a minute. Good long time. I don't care what corners are coming out, this, that, and the other. That Mike Evans is going to be around for a while, man. Because it's just it's just that simple fact of how good he is. The only things I can see that might top him at this point is when they drop a Ramsey or drop a something else. I don't know. Mike Mike Evans will die down at some point, but he will not die down as the other out of position players from last year that played corner. Okay? I don't know who they were cuz I didn't pick up any of them. I'm picking this up. And they died down. The only like I said, the only things that really stayed were like a Tom Brady punter or Ben Roethlisberger punter, whichever one it was. Those are the only things that stayed this is going to stay for a while. So get ready for that. Weekend League is about to be real fun. And 
Calvin Johnson, I, like I said, that that's my two cents on it. I, I can't deny or confirm anything. But I'm telling y'all right now, Calvin Johnson, I, I'm telling you, I will not be surprised if they drop a Ultimate Legend Calvin Johnson. I will not be surprised. I promise you. They're going to do it. Okay? Just the way this company works. So, I'm don't say I didn't warn y'all. All right, this Calvin Johnson is going to be wreaking more havoc on the defensive side of the ball than y'all know. And here's the thing, guys. Am I going to pick him up? Nah. I, I'm not not doing that. Mike Evans is the is the most I will go to this out of position side. I refuse on everything. I'm not picking up that Calvin. I refuse because I, I resent the Calvin. Because I strongly felt like in the Madden 10, Sean Taylor, since we already know they had the rights to his name, Sean Taylor should have been that free safety. And EA, they screwed us out of that. Off rip. This was at like close to the beginning of Madden. They they screwed us from the jump. So I'm not picking up that Calvin. I'm not I'm not touching that thing. So I might do this Mike Evans. Um that's probably the most I would go. Pat Mahomes, Pat, Patty Mahomes, good pickup. I say wait, but still a good pickup. Todd Gurley, if you don't have an NFL 100 card or NFL 100 running back and you need a good running back, Todd Gurley is a good pickup. Chris Johnson is expensive, especially his power-up, so Todd Gurley might be your next best hope. So if you need a good running back, Todd Gurley is it. Leighton Van Der Esch, I, I'm not very impressed with him personally. If you're running Cowboys team team, great but if not i uh, he's not a he's not a pickup in my honest opinion um out of positions calvin i'm not touching that thing mike evans i might have to consider picking him up definitely might have to just depends and nfl 100 receivers are supposed to drop tomorrow so be on the lookout for that I'll be making a video on that hopefully it's somebody i can use man because i have a 94 power up pass waiting all right, waiting for one of them, somebody good. So, you know, we'll see. Probably going to be a Jerry Rice, probably going to be a Moss. If they're going to drop two more, I, don't, I really don't know who it will be. But I'm assuming it's going to be Jerry Rice and Moss for sure. So, again, I'll make a video on that. Comment down below. Let me know, guys. Do you guys like, do you guys like the added positions? Do you guys like them or do you guys hate them? Because personally, I'm more on the hate side of this. I never really like the out of position players because they do too much. The stats don't make sense. To me, they just do some numbers together and say, yeah, throw it on Mike Evans. And I, I'm not happy about it, but it is what it is. It's in the game and people are going to use it. So fuck it. I'm going to use it too. But you guys let me know in the comment section below. Are you guys happy with how the out of position players look? Are you guys happy with the promo so far? I'm happy about the ghosts. Okay. I'm happy about the sets, the ghosts. I'm really liking that. But the out of position, I'm like, eh, I, uh, just, oh my God. So you guys let me know. And guys, feel free to like, subscribe to the channel. The support means a lot. And Oakland Raiders video going to be dropping later today. So be on the lookout for that, man. Till the next one, guys. Peace.